Luke chapter 3 verses 21 to 22. One day when the crowds were being baptized, Jesus himself was baptized. As he was praying, the heavens opened, and the Holy Spirit, in bodily form, descended on him like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, You are my dearly loved Son, and you bring me great joy. Baptism of Jesus. This passage describes the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist in the Jordan River. Heavenly Confirmation. After Jesus was baptized, the heavens opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in the form of a dove. A voice from heaven declared, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Trinitarian Revelation This event reveals the Trinitarian nature of God, with Jesus being baptized, the Holy Spirit descending, and the Father's voice affirming Jesus as his Son. Divine Approval The Father's declaration of love and approval for Jesus marks the beginning of Jesus' public ministry and mission on earth. Symbolism the baptism of Jesus symbolizes his identification with humanity, his anointing for ministry, and the beginning of his journey towards the cross. This passage highlights the unique relationship between the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and sets the stage for Jesus' earthly ministry. Obedience to God's will. Jesus' submission to being baptized by John demonstrates his obedience to God's will. It teaches us the importance of following God's plan for our lives even when it may seem unconventional or unnecessary. Identification with humanity. Jesus, who is sinless, chose to be baptized as a way to identify himself with humanity and to set an example for us. This act shows his solidarity with us in our human experience. The Trinity. The passage reveals the Trinitarian nature of God, with the Father's voice from heaven, the Holy Spirit descending like a dove, and Jesus being baptized. This teaches us about the triune nature of God. Divine Approval The Father's declaration, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased, affirms Jesus' identity and mission. This highlights the significance of seeking God's approval above all else. Anointing for ministry Jesus' baptism marks the beginning of his public ministry. It symbolizes his anointing by the Holy Spirit for the work he was called to do on earth. This teaches us about the importance of being empowered by the Holy Spirit for our own callings and ministries. Relationship with God. The intimate moment between the Father and the Son at Jesus' baptism emphasizes the depth of the relationship between God and Jesus. It reminds us of the closeness we can have with God through Christ. Overall, the baptism of Jesus in Luke chapter 3 verses 21 to 22 serves as a powerful example and source of inspiration for believers to walk in obedience seek God's approval, embrace our humanity, and be empowered by the Holy Spirit for the work God has called us to do.